Hello guys, welcome back to WeboTap. So in this video, uh, we'll be designing, uh, not designing, we'll be uh, making this function of the my product page dynamic. So we'll make this page dynamic, okay? All right, so let me go to the file manager once again. I will click on dashboard and then click on file manager. Now, public underscore HTML, since all the files of a website is present under this directory, I will delete all the unwanted files and folders from this directory. Even this is not required anymore. And I will go to index.php and check where the where have we kept the page of products. So the name of the pr uh, product page uh, is products dash body, uh, which is inside inc folder. Let's go to inc folder and okay. Let me check one more thing. Let me open the uh, index.php and we have already included the database.php file here. So I have to go to inc folder, okay, and then go to products body dot uh, products this uh, body page. I have to go here and and we have to use a form in these codes because uh, in the previous uh, in the previous video where we were designing the product page the product page of this website so all the fields uh, which we can see like the product name pro regular price sales price description all these fields are uh, see, uh, all these fields are not uh, included in a form so now we have to include a form here so let me open the form take form and the method will be post since post is a good practice okay and this is a bit secured in comparison to the get method and now all the other fields i will give some indentation uh, i have uh, given a bit of indentation and then let me close the form take okay and here the name of the uh, button the name of the button is update or, uh, sorry the name of the button is submit button okay let me click on save file all right so now i will go to one more page and the name of that page is register body where we have some code and we will copy the code we will simply copy the code from if set function till this point and copy okay and let me close this page and go to products body once again and here we will use this information for updating the product okay and let me save the file paste the quotes here again save the file here we have to create another table and the name of this table will be I think I have to log in again. And in order to log in, I have to copy the information from the database.php file. Slash php my admin, just a minute. And, and proceed to cpanel.webotep.in. Okay, and we have all the information here. Oh, I can see uh, my PHP my admin is automatically loaded up, and now I can uh, create a new uh, table, and the name of the table will be products. And uh, we need a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need a total of seven and eight, eight columns here. The first, the first name of the column would be ID and we will be using auto increment since here in this project we are using only one product but if you want to create a good number of product like 100 products or 200 products then in that case you have to use the ID of this uh, table okay and this would be auto incremented and then product name P R O N A M E product name after product name we have the product 
regular price and sales price so here i will be writing rp as regular price and sp as sales price after that uh, we need a description desc the description and then we will be requiring the name of the images image one image two image three okay so i am the underscore one and i am the underscore two and i am the underscore three here i'll be using text text and text in the product description i'll be using long text and in the uh, sales price i'll be using integer or we can even use double because if the price contains any decimals then we will not be able to store the decimal in the column name integer and even in the regular price as well we can use double and in the regular price as well we can use double uh, we can even use float function okay and in the product name i'll be using text that's all all right so let us check and i'll be using null function in all the columns and let us try hitting save okay now i can see a new uh, table called products is being displayed here okay and now let me go to browse there is no single line and if i go to insert and write the name of the product uh, let us uh, use the details from here this is the name of the product then this is the regular price and it is the sales price after that let me copy the description from this section and use it here and we have the product image images so image images 1.png the next image will be image 2.png and the third image will be image 4.png here i have written images ignore it okay and then we can click on go and now if i click on browse button i am able to see all the uh, details which we have just inserted into this table all right so in the next video we'll be connecting this table with this page and whatever uh, changes we do or whatever change we do on this page will be directly reflected in this uh, uh, php my admin table thank you for watching this video subscribe this channel for further updates